If you head south of London by road, do look out for a machine next to the highway near the seaside town of Brighton. It's pretty easy to spot. There's a great big illuminated numerical display on the top, and every time a bicycle goes by, the machine is meant to see it, count it, and inform other road users how many have passed. According to the machine, thousands a day pedal along, which is pretty puzzling. In actual fact, there are very few indeed. You see, this piece of publicly funded gadgetry is quite unable to tell the difference between bicycles, trucks, cows, dogs, even small children. It counts them all indiscriminately, and no one knows why. Nor has anybody got the foggiest idea what conceivable use it would be, even if the damn thing worked. But it was put up by the local council, and local council taxpayers had to pay for it. They also had to pay to take Mrs Christine Foreman to court. Now, she doesn't ride a bicycle, but she's very fond of pigeons. Every day she feeds them breadcrumbs and watches the birds flutter in. It's a harmless enough pursuit for a lady nearing retirement, you would think, but her council in Croydon to the south of London said Mrs Foreman's actions had turned people's lives into living hell. Now the poor lady has been fined $12,000 and she could go to jail if she so much as smiles at a pigeon ever again. Both these crazy stories represent the way that tax-funded organisations in this country can waste our money. The British government is putting the squeeze on now and a little commercial common sense could be on the way. Up in Yorkshire, way north of London, the firefighting service is seriously thinking of selling advertising space on the side of its fire engines and there's even talk of raising cash for the law enforcement agency by getting local companies to sponsor police cars. That is, if there are any cars left. You see, in the west of England, the uh, police service is already so hard up they've reduced the number of vehicles and they've told officers to take the bus. Or better still, use a bicycle, which is where I came in. This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.